be my child's therapist. I do not. But I'm going to play this video from the guy who got fired. Let's play. I'm, I'm going to see what y'all think of this. Mixed all the controversy that has come from this video that I posted. Uh, I wanted to come on here and read some of the messages that my students are sending me. <laughs> some of the messages that they've been sending me. <sighs> During this time. Hey, Bessie. I really hope that you see this message. How are you? I hope that you're okay. <laughs> Our class misses you so much. First off, why are children texting your phone calling you Bestie? That's the first question I got to ask. Why are these children so comfortable and why don't you as an adult when it comes to other people's children have some type of boundary with these children? One of the biggest things that I've seen in corporate America that they've been complaining about is people not knowing how to send emails properly. Why aren't you emailing these students with other people CC'd on the email so they can be your checks and balances to make sure that nothing inappropriate goes on with these children? That's too much like right, though. And we really want you to know that we love you and we miss you so much. I can't wait for you to come back. I can't believe that taking somebody's hair out is such a big deal. And it makes me so mad that people make little things big things. I want you to know that the class and others got your back. And we will always stand behind you. And out for you no matter what happens, we got you. Again, we miss we miss you and we love you so much. And can't wait for can't wait for you to come back. I wish that this never happened because it feels like we're losing you. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to say this too. Y'all ever notice they never post videos in the classroom or of their students learning. They never post anything from their classroom or their students actually learning. This is your job and you have to have some type of professionalism. Typically, Having your cell phone or using your cell phone in certain settings would be deemed as unprofessional. I would argue a teacher using her cell phone or his cell phone in a classroom to record other people's children is inappropriate. It's on his personal cell phone. Now, if it was something where you're doing a commercial for a school and it was um, it was signed off. That the parents signed a waiver to say, oh, yeah, my child, my child could be part of this commercial. That sounds cool. That sounds smart. That sounds lo uh, very logical. But you to just put this on there because what you were doing was trying to go viral. And that's exactly what we get here. And I'm going I'm to I'm say something. Have y'all seen any tears come out this man's eyes? Have y'all seen any, since this man has been huffing and puffing and sniffling, have y'all seen any tears come out this man's eyes? This is the fakest shit I've ever seen in life, but he wants to go viral. That's the only reason you will post those young ladies in your hair. Because why record it? And somebody said this. When we were in school, we did a lot of stuff that our parents probably wouldn't have agreed with that they let us do in school. And you know what? I agree. Do you know why I, the teachers that taught us still have jobs to this day? Because we, they didn't record themselves. They didn't post themselves. 
They wasn't trying to go viral. They wanted to be what they let go in their classroom to be as secretive as possible. I'm going to tell y'all something. I used to have a teacher my senior year. He used to give me massages in front of the whole class. Like, we would be not doing anything. And I would just be like, oh, my shoulder hurts. I've been working out, playing basketball. And she's like, oh, I'll give you a massage and just start rubbing on my shoulder. She's like, oh, you got big, broad shoulders, Cedric. Just look, you say little stuff. And I'm like, mm, this shit is weird. But my teacher, and be, I'm be real with y'all. My teacher was fine. She was, she was fine as shit. She was, she was like 23, 24, pretty ass white lady. She was, she was beautiful. I ain't never been with a white, well, I think my senior had been with a couple of white women, but you know, this woman was, she was nice. She was real nice, but she was young too. And she was giving me a massage and thought it was just okay. And nobody batted the eye. Nobody thought it was weird until like one day I'm going to the bathroom. And they was like, yeah, I heard Miss such and such be giving you massages in the classroom. Oh boy. If you get a chance to hit that, I would, Oh, I get a chance. To, ooh. And I just never took my mind. Never got that far to just see her as, you know, trying to smash me. But at the same time, she was always touchy feely with me and would let me touch and feel on her too. So that's why I said when we talk about kids inside this classroom, touching on this man, being around him, and them being so close and so comfortable doing it. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. We be trying to act like these young girls are innocent. They not. They know what's going on. They know what's going on. The argument always is, well, it is it's predatory for an older man to sleep with a younger girl. Let's say if she was, let's this is just use legal terms. If he was 33 and she was 18, they will say, Oh, he's that's predatory. But I also know those same 18-year-old girls are sleeping with 18-year-old boys. And let y'all tell it, women mature faster than boys. So if they are the same age, would would she not be predatory to him? Tune. Don't be gone too long because if you're not back by Monday, I know something's up. But anyways, I also made sure that the classroom was clean before we left. Love you, missed you. Love you, miss you. See you later. Hi, Mr. White. We've been seeing all this stuff going on, and so has your other. Like I said, he trying to pull on everybody the hard strings. Got the slow music in the background. All of this shit. Like, come on, bro. You should have known better than this. And you talking about you had to get your hair braided, nigga. That was that was Wednesday they took your hair down. You got fire Friday. And you mean to tell me you ain't gonna get no motherfucking edge up on this shit? You got you really got your hair there, all this shit to not even come on this bitch with a fresh, clean edge up. Come on, dog. Other former students, and I just want you to know but that we're standing with you. I I'm literally in my junior year of high school right now, and seeing this, you and seeing all this, you were my and many others' favorite teacher. Many of Hold on. So you mean to tell me you in the classroom, and I don't know what you teach, but these students are texting you so horribly, can't make complete sentences, and you mean to tell me they got time to be in your hair? This is what you're telling me. I don't want no teacher to be my student's therapist, friend, or anything. That's what I'm here for. Why do you feel comfortable being that close to my child anyways? Let me tell y'all something. The word grooming gets thrown out there a lot. But part of grooming starts with you thinking you're going to be my child's friend and then my child being gullible enough to let you be close enough to say you could be their friend and then you try to act like you're going to be their therapist and help them through life issues. And just because you're older, you might know a one or two things here or there to help them through a little bump in the road and they feel like you've helped them. And now they're getting a little bit more comfortable telling you stuff and you finding your way in to be able to groom my child. This is how this shit starts. I don't understand why y'all are like this. And what the other part that's scary, you want me to tell you the other part that's scary? I get on social media and people I've seen who said that they have been molested, sexually assaulted, 
raped as children are the first people to come out and say, I see no problem with this. It's always the people that have been touched, fondled, fucked as a kid that comes out and always seem to never have any boundaries when it comes to sex. Y'all ever notice that? Or is it just me? Or is it when they say hurt people hurt people? Or is it when they say those people, they were they were groomed as a young age, so they're going to probably do the same thing when they get older? You would think these people that will come that, that has been through this will be the first advocate to have hard lines and hard stops on a lot of stuff. No teacher should let any student touch them in an inappropriate way. And part of playing in somebody's hair is uh is inappropriate, especially as black people. The first thing when I grew my hair out as a young boy, my mama said, You don't let everybody in your hair. You don't let everybody play in your hair. My wife has locks. She's very particular about who does her locks. It's sacred to her. It's a it's a bonding time with her and her hairstyle. They have these conversations while she's getting her hair did. She's asking for advice. She's giving advice. She's asking for advice. She's giving for giving advice. So for us to just act like oh it's harmless. They're just taking down hair. I thought y'all were the same people that try to act like hair when it comes to the black community is so sacred that you don't let everybody in it and you mean to tell me y'all got these kids these young girls and like we hear older women say this all the time these girls don't even know how to wipe their ass and they pussy well enough you mean to tell me you letting pussy and ass hands all in your head three four five girls in your head your head at one time this doesn't even make sense Fake ass crying. This shit pissed me off. Students and former students are y'all see y'all seen any tears yet? In, have y'all seen any tears come out this man eye yet? I let me tell y'all something. I remember I caught a bitch cheating on me and she cried just like this. No tears, no nothing. I like this bitch ain't fucking sorry. She put on a performance a week when it that bitch. I need to see a tear or something. I need to see the 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 the, the snotty nose and the the ugly cry like you just doing this sniffle and neck like you you really care about me. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Get the fuck out of my face. You're one of the few teachers that made me really feel like I had a voice and opinion. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he was raised by a single mama. And not only you only learn this type of crying from a single mother. I'm sorry. Not only that, you made learning fun and encouraging at the end of the I'm day. pissed you didn't go get an edge up. All this shit about getting your hair did, and you didn't go get an edge up. You didn't go get this shit trimmed up or nothing. It just braids with this little fro in the front. This shit weird. Today, some people wouldn't understand that some adults genuinely have a good heart. <laughs> and it comes. Have a good heart when it So I'm going to say this. Most people are evil. Most people are evil. Most adults don't have no fucking good heart. Most people are evil. Do you, let me say something. This is some real shit. I don't consider myself evil. And of course me, you know, like I said, I do a lot of introspection, but of course I'm not going to sit here and call myself evil. So I know y'all going to be like, well, yeah, of course you're not going to call yourself evil. You think yourself evil? I, I, I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to put that out there. The reason I'm going to say this, what I'm about to say, do you know the type of crazy ass thoughts that go through my mind daily? Like just the weirdest shit. Like I, like I just be thinking like, damn, this is some wild shit to think in my mind every fucking day or every other day or just some wild ass shit. Like for instance, I don't know if y'all seen those memes a few years ago. And it was going viral. And it was just like talking about the crazy shit your mind tells you to do. And it was like a meme. And it was like a dude walking at the top of the top floor of the mall. And he said, for some reason, my mind tells me to jump off of this. You're on the top floor in the mall. You know how you look down at the bottom floor. You can look over the red, the bottom floor. And it was like a, a meme. And it was like, my, my, my mind's telling me to jump. Like, those are the crazy things that we that we see. Or we think about. People are evil. It comes to dealing with children and 
that's probably never going to change. But, you know, we know parents, staff, et cetera, none that there knows that there has never been anything weird going on and that there was never any insinuation of that. The people that actually matter know where your heart is, and that's all that matters. During COVID, you quite literally helped me through my eighth grade year by just being an adult. I knew I could go to if I was having any problems. Continue being you and don't let anyone change that. For the goat. What's up, Mr. White? I know that I know that your situation may not be looking the best, but just know that you'll get through it and we all know your real intentions. Remember your Remember your Bruce Lee quote. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Like, this shit pissing me off. I hate to see shit like this because I know it's fake. I know it's all for clicks. I know it's all for views. And this is why I say, don't use my child for fucking content. And I don't care how y'all feel about it. Y'all are weirdos. And I wonder every time. I be wondering why y'all child be so fucking dumb and slow and retarded. I be wondering why y'all be okay with y'all children not making A's and shit. I be wondering why y'all be okay with y'all children and be so sexually uh, uh, sexually promiscuous at a young age. I see why y'all be so gung-ho about these proms and shit like that because y'all know they ain't gonna have no weddings. They not, they, uh, and y'all be so good, uh, quick about the gender reveals because ain't gonna be no weddings. Y'all understand? Y'all be perpetuating the most degenerate shit in our culture and it keeps happening. This shit is weird. Quit telling me, quit telling us that y'all are our children friends. I've been in class with y'all, with y'all motherfucking teachers, and y'all ain't got y'all shit together. I've dated teachers. Trust me, bitch, if you date me and where I was at in my life at that point in time, well, we where I was knocking your back in, trust me, I know you ain't got your shit together. Well, bitch, if you had your shit together, you would not be fucking with me. Cause I was not close. I was what they say. I was the F boy. I was here here to fuck your life up. That's what I came to do. I came to drop dick. I came to run, dry your car, not check the oil, the motor go out there, bitch. I don't know how to fix it. I can't help you. None of that. You mean to tell me you over there fucking that nigga and he ain't think to check the oil? Look, that ain't my job. I came with a lay dick. And I can't lay dick good enough because I ain't had no whip and I might need to borrow this motherfucker a day or two. Let's just be real. Quit talk, quit acting as if y'all are children therapists. Y'all don't have y'all shit together. And quit telling us y'all go to school to get all these certifications and still have these uh, personal development trainings that y'all have to do to make sure that you're up to date and know the new curriculum on how to teach these students or how to be a better teacher in your classroom and classroom etiquette. Y'all have to keep doing this so you understand that there is protocols and things that you have to do to be a good teacher. Quit telling us that you're going to be a therapist because if you had to go through that type of training to get those degrees and professional vet development days, then you understand to be a therapist is something that you should just not be throwing out there as if you are trained to be said therapist. You're not. You're not trained to be a therapist. I'm sorry. A lot of y'all need to go to the therapy. It still ain't going to work. A lot of y'all ain't able to have accountability because y'all fucked up. Everything y'all, a lot of y'all are just like Amanda Seals. Let's just keep the shit above. Everything is everybody else's problem. I don't give a fuck how much therapy you go to. I don't give a much how you talk. I don't give a fuck how much you talk to somebody. Y'all fucked up. This nigga seen her and crying out a damn tear yet. Remember your Bruce Lee quote. I can't wait for your return. <sighs> P.S. Your Air Maxes are in the boys' locker room. I seen them today after practice, and I didn't know what to do with them, so I just put them in there. My Bruce Lee quote is, if you if you have an emotional reaction to anything someone says or does to you, means that that person can control you, and you should not be controlled by anyone. Well, bitch, quit crying, because you shouldn't be controlled by anyone. Shit. 
Yo stupid ass got yourself fired. If you wouldn't record it this year, we wouldn't even been here. They just keep it a hundred. And that's what I said. Yes, there was a lot of shit that went on in school that probably was inappropriate and would have uh, raised our parents would have raised hell about. But when I was coming up, teachers were at least smart enough not to record themselves doing stupid ass shit. And the crazy part about this, it wasn't even like a student recorded this dumbass nigga. He recorded this shit and he posted this shit and he tried to give us an explanation why this shit was okay. Yeah, I let my students take my hair down and the day before I uh, uh they wanted me to be on the commercial so I didn't want to take it down and then I had to schedule the hair appointment. Bitch, you should have pushed the hair appointment back. I don't even understand why you record this, why you thought it was cute and why you was giving us an explanation on why you letting these female students take your hair down. I see you ain't have one of them little gay boys in, in your head. Take your hat down. I see you didn't have one of the little gay boys in your head. Take your hat down. Because we know now that with the, these little black boys, you got at least two gay, these little gay little niggas in your classroom. You got two of them at least in every classroom. It's two little gay niggas at this point. Oh, it's, it's straight women. Okay. The young girls, okay. They was happy and giggling and smiling and shit. Okay. And like I said, as black people, our hair is supposed to be sacred. And I don't understand why all of a sudden it wasn't sacred in this moment. 